Okay, guys, uh, I figured out a way to send two different signals down a single redstone wire. The, the decoder is pretty big, uh, so it's only going to save you space if you're sending them a long distance, but still, it's pretty neat. So, first thing to look, you have a button here, that's your first signal, and a button here, that's your second signal. And then this doodad is an edge trigger. So whenever you hit the button, rather than just using the button pulse, it sends one little bursted pulse down the line. Because when you hit the button, this torch turns off, which lets this torch turn on. And then it sends us the button signal through here, through this delay, which means the torch turns back off almost immediately, but it sends a single blip. So let's see how that works. Yeah. So the line flash just once whenever I hit it. <coughs> Over here, I got the same deal. We got an edge trigger. But it outputs to here, like you see, but it also outputs to here and sends a delay. So whenever I hit this button, rather than one pulse, it's going to send two rapid pulses. Like that. You see it? Now what this let us do? It lets us send two signals using the same line. Signal comes in here, and then this mess is just a standard get out of my way, sheep. Toggle flip flop. Die. So if you get one pulse down the line, the toggle turns itself on. And if you get two pulses, it turns itself on and then back off. So, what happens? When the toggle turns itself on, it's going to send a pulse down, it's going to pulse down this line. Like that. And this is another edge trigger, it's just a little more spread out because I don't have a single square that's a button. And the edge trigger outputs here. And that's going to delay the signal from the edge trigger just a bit to give us time the toggle time to decide whether it's gotten two or one pulse. So it comes out here and down this way after the delay and then hits this AND gate. And that's the output of the toggle. So when the pulse reaches it, if the toggle's on, if it's only had one pulse in other words, then the AND gate triggers and sends a small pulse of power down that line, which will turn that torch off and then on again. But, if you've had the double pulse from the other button, the toggle will still will be off by the time the delayed signal reaches the AND gate, so you won't get a pulse of power down that line. So when the delayed signal comes out, it also goes this way. And again, that's the output of the toggle. So, if the to so when the pulse, when the delayed pulse hits here, it turns this torch off. If the toggle's off at that time, then this torch can come on and send a little bolt of power down this line. So, if you hit the right hand button down there, it'll send the double pulse, and you get a little pulse of power down this line. Whereas if you hit the left hand button, it'll send a single pulse, and it'll get a little pulse of power on this line. Now in order to work, it needs to reset itself. No. So the signal from the control signal here comes out around this way, no. up here, through another delay, and then back down to hard reset the toggle to the off position. Let's see if it works. No. So. When we press the left hand button, it ought to send a pulse of power down the left hand track, but not the right hand track. So this torch should turn off and then back on, and this torch should stay stolid. Let's have a look. Off and back on. Stay solid. Off and back on. Stay solid. 
whereas this line sends the double pulse. So that torch over there should stay solid because it's not getting any power, whereas this torch should turn off and back on from impulsive power. Let's see. That one stays solid. That one turns itself on and off. That one stays solid. That one turns itself on and off. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you can sing a single use a single redstone wire to send two signals. You could also send more if you wanted to hook up an adder rather than a single flip-flop, but you'd have to do something else with the control signal that goes around. You have to... Mm, well, I don't know exactly how you'd do it, but I'm sure there's a way. I just have to sit down and figure it out. Anyway, that's how it works. And as you can see, the decoder is actually pretty big, so it's not going to save you any redstone over just making two different lines unless you're sending the signal a really long way. But it's still pretty cool. 